Ngayon, gusto naman natin sukatin yung length ng isang arc ng curve na generated ng isang function. Ang method na gagamitin natin ngayon ay nangangailangan na smooth yung curve sa interval na susukatin natin yung length niya. Pag sinabi nating smooth, ibig sabihin continuous at differentiable. Quick example, itong Weierstrass function ay continuous pero hindi siya differentiable. Hindi rin siya smooth kasi kahit mag-continuously zoom tayo, jagged pa rin yung function. So let's take a look at this function f of x and consider the arc of the curve from x equals a to x equals b. Let's label the endpoints as a and b for now. Si leftmost point ay may coordinates na a and f of a. Let's refer to this point as p sub 0 din. Si rightmost point ay may coordinates na b and f of b. We'll refer to it as p sub n. I-approximate natin yung length na AB by connecting the two points with a straight line, line segment. Yung length ni arc AB ay approximated nung length ng line segment given by the distance between P sub 0 and P sub n, which are also A and B, no, respectively. Clearly, mas maiksi yung value ni L sa actual length ng curve. So magdadagdag tayo ng isa pang point. Our approximation will update to the length of the line segment from P sub 0 to P1 plus the length of the line segment from P1 to P sub n. We can improve our approximation by adding more points. Pero for each point na idadagdag natin, dumadami din yung line segments natin. Ngayon may tatlo na. Naging apat, notice na yung length ng last line segment is given by the distance between P sub n minus 1 at P sub n. Let's continue adding points and line segments. Clearly, the line segments get shorter in length as the number of intermediate points and segments increases. To simplify our notation, we can imagine that the length of the arc is approximated by the sum of the lengths of the line segments connecting p sub i minus 1 and p sub i for all the values of i in our interval. Let's write it as follows. The length of the arc is approximated by the sum of all the lengths of the line segments connecting the endpoints of the curve intersected by all intervals. Since this is calculus where we work with infinitely small no, and infinitely large numbers, we can take the limit of the summation as the number of line segments approach infinity. Consequently, the lengths of each line segment will approach zero. And this limit of the summation will give us the exact value for the length. Of course, we all know where the limit of the summation will lead us Dadali niya tayo sa idea ng definite integral. Mag-focus tayo ngayon sa sub-interval i kung saan yung arc ay may endpoints na p sub i minus 1 at p sub i. Na may coordinates na x sub i minus 1 and f of x sub i minus 1 for the left point at x sub i and f of x sub i for the right point. Ang length nitong ith line segment na ito ay makukuha natin using the distance formula at equal siya sa square root of the quantity x sub i minus x sub i minus 1 quantity squared. Ito yung horizontal distance squared. Plus, the square of y sub i minus y sub i minus 1 vertical distance squared naman. Kamayin na natin yung rest of the solution. So again, the length of line segment p sub i minus 1, p sub i, is given by the distance formula applied sa coordinates ni p sub i minus 1 at p sub i. Let's replace x sub i minus x sub i minus 1 with delta x sub i. Notice na positive ito palagi. At yung y sub i minus y sub i minus 1 ay papalitan natin ng delta y sub i. If we take subintervals of equal length, then all of our delta x's will be equal. And we can just use delta x for all delta x sub i's. The length of segment i is then equal to the square root of delta x squared plus delta y sub i squared. So ang summation ng segment lengths ay equal sa summation ng distances. Here comes the trick, no? Let's multiply 1 in a special way dun sa ating radicand. And yung 1 in a special way na multiply natin ay yung square of delta x squared. Umultiply natin yun dun sa radicand. I-distribute natin yung delta x squared sa denominator sa both terms ng integrand. 
Pero yung delta x squared sa numerator ay ilabas natin sa radical para delta x na lang siya. Yung sum of segment lengths natin ay equal na ngayon sa summation from 1 to n ng square root of 1 plus the square of the slope of the line segment. Tandaan natin na ang slope ay delta y over delta x. Then may times delta x pa sa labas. Invoke natin si mean value theorem na sinasabi na may point tayo sa curve in the subinterval na may tangent line sa kanya na yung slope ay equal dun sa slope ng line segment connecting the endpoints of our subinterval. May picture dapat na lalabas to emphasize. Palitan natin sa formula natin yung slope ng line segment with the slope of the tangent line. Pareho lang kasi sila, di ba? Dun sa point na guaranteed ni mean value theorem na nag exist We'll label this point, yung x-coordinate niya, as x sub i star. Nakita natin kanina na ang exact length ay yung limit nitong summation as the number of subintervals approach infinity. So, evaluating the limit as n goes to infinity of the summation of the square root of 1 plus the square of f prime of x sub i star, ito yung slope ng tangent line at x equals x sub i star, times delta x will give us the formula for arc length given by L is equal to the definite integral from the x values of the endpoints A and B of the square root of 1 plus the square of the derivative of the function. Ito na yung ating working formula. Makikita natin dito na kaya important yung qualification na smooth yung curve ay dahil kailangan natin na ma-differentiate siya. Kailangan natin yung derivative niya sa formula. So, in our next video, we'll take a look at some examples where we could apply this formula. No? So, for now, salamat sa pakikinig.